This is a diagram of a MOSFET transistor. And here I've got it on my trainer. And on the left, you can see a light bulb, incandescent light bulb, and then the MOSFET. And it's hooked up to 24 volts. We've got positive on the left and the center wire that's open is the gate of the MOSFET and then on the right is our negative connection. Here's a much closer look at the setup and here's the wiring diagram. And I thought we'd do a little experimenting with this setup with the gate or the MOSFET not biased in any way and see what happens. Okay, here's the setup. Our bulb, our MOSFET, this is positive, the gate, and ground or negative. Now it's on. Now I'll touch the gate. That's biased it open and the impedance is so high it stays there. It'll eventually go down but it'll take a very long time. The impedance is so high. And here I'll use other hand and touch the negative to turn it off. That's how high impedance that is. Turn it on and turn it off. There you can see it's beginning to there we go. Turn it off. On and off again. As we saw in that video, just by touching the gate, we could make that bulb light. And if I continue to touch the gate and also the negative or ground lead of the circuit, we could turn off the light. Well, the MOSFET is a very, very high impedance device. And the reason that it's a very high impedance device is in between the gate and the substrate of the source and drain, we have a material that is, for the most part, glass. And as you know, glass is a very, very good insulator. So that's why between the gate and the substrate, we have a very, very high impedance. So whatever we put on the gate without any biasing at all, it tends to stay there because the impedance is so high it would take a long time for a charge to dissipate. In this next video, I'm going to add some biasing to this circuit and I'm going to use a 100K ohm variable resistor and I'm going to put the gate on the center tap of that variable resistor. Okay, now I've got this variable resistor hooked up to it. Positive on this side, ground on that side, and the gate's right in the center. 
And of course I've got it all the way down. If I go all the way up, light comes on. And then somewhere in the middle, we'll have some control over this. There we go. Once it's biased, now the circuit is stable and doing what we want. And when I touch it now, it has no effect on the circuit. In that video, we saw that when the variable resistor was down all the way to ground or the negative source the bulb was not lit and of course the opposite when I moved it all the way to the top the bulb was lit as bright as it could go and of course when I moved it around the center of that 100 k ohm variable resistor we could vary the brightness of the bulb. So biasing a transistor or a tube, and in this case a MOSFET transistor, makes the circuit work properly and makes it stable. And without biasing, it's rather unpredictable as to what could happen. Thanks for watching.